Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. Today we're actually doing some bank fishing. We see a lot in the comments. You guys want us to get out here on the bank and catch yeah. fish. So that's exactly what you're doing. If you look down over here. Oh, we got a team. We, we got, got a team. We got seven rods in the water. We've already caught one Jack Chinook. We caught a sturgeon. Had a couple other bell ringers. Yep. So I think it's going to be a good day, but here's what we're going to do. If you guys can do us a huge favor, go down right here, smash that thumbs up button. If you guys get this episode to 3,000 thumbs ups, Pop Off is going to take you walleye fishing. We're going to give you guys an opportunity to go on a trip walleye fishing with Pop Off. I'm going to pay for it. I'll pay for the seat. Get you fishing with Pop Off. I'm not going to pay for you to travel out here. You know, if we pick someone that's out of the state or out of the country, you're going to figure out your own way to get here. But I'm going to pay for your seat to go fishing with them. So smash the thumbs up, get it to 3,000 likes. Thanks again for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoy this episode. Should be a fun one. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so we're just rigging up a cooney here, and all I do is I go through the back, and then I'm gonna come straight out through the head and attaching the, the head and the tail section together. It's really important because this head section is very soft, so you gotta go through it very carefully and slowly. And I try to line that up perfectly with the head so it comes out dead center of the head. Then we'll rotate back, and then all I do, and there's lots of different theories. You can run them straight, you can run them bent. I like to run them bent, but, and then I just take the egg loop and go right over the tail section. Try to get it into some of those folds right there. And there you go, on, your little coonie with your spinning glow. But I am. All right, so what we're doing here is Charles is running out this, uh, this line and he's gonna go out and then upstream and drop it. It's on your it's on your kayak. Charles is dead. Alright. <laughs> Almost had a failure there. He's gonna go upstream, drop it, really and it's gonna end up hopefully right in front of the, the rod holder here. Where are we at on the counter? Uh 56. Right there 70. So we set it in the rod holder and wait for the fish. Drop, more, 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 fish, fish. Oh, oh my gosh. 100 percent fish. And pulled it down. All right, guys. Sean wanted me to record this because I'm going to have to exit out of my boat. Somehow, some way, without dying. Without dying. And I think he thinks I'm gonna. I think he thinks I'm gonna. Oh my God. Whew. Oh, I almost died like five times right there. Good thing I got my float coat on. Bye boat, good luck. Like I said, we're banking it today. Getting, getting our bank on. So a lot of times what we do guys is we use the kayaks to run the gear out, not because we're trying to go far and run lines 500 yards out in the Columbia, but because we want to make sure everything is nice and square. And you know, a huge advantage of fishing off the bank versus fishing off the boat is you can fish three baits per line and they're going to be fishing really clean. Ready? Okay. So we just dropped that one at 30 just because current's really burning right now and the tide's running real hard so we're trying to trying to find where these sockeye these steelhead are running I think they're running inside right here dude this is the money the cliff bar peanut butter banana best flavor there is 
Unless you don't like banana. Dude, maybe this isn't why we're catching any fish, because there's banana in this cliff bar. We haven't catch oh any, we've had the God. lines out for like 10 minutes, and we had a belt. It's this jank spot Cam brought us to. We figured, right. of course, we get. We let him pick the spot, and we get nothing. We catch a jack up. We're fishing I got scared. I think he was getting, I thought he was getting ready to slap me. <laughs> I, I, I should, I should, just for the record. <laughs> but, I mean, I've been fishing with like three and four baits up there. And doing well. We got 21 baits on this beach. If we can't get it done for you guys, then we're just terrible bank fishermen. How do you guys like this? Should we do more bank episodes? We're always, I see a lot of comments where they're like, you guys need to bank fish more. Here we are. We're here. Bank yeah, bank bill. Bank we're gonna catch one. All, all for you guys, so. There's my boat. Like, you get shot by my boat, just, just chilling out there. There it is. She's so lonely. Dude, you see that? She's just, uh, she's crying. Look What's at that. her name? I don't really have a name. Oh my boat. god. <laughs> Addicts, let's name Cameron's boat. I want to no, hear the best no, name no. in the oh comments my below. God. Let's get there some names go. for Cameron's boat. What are going, we gonna name this, this thing? This is going to be terrible. It is a woman, up. it is a female. It Both is, all boats are females. Let's drop some names down below. Oh, that's a fish. Sockeye! I cannot be in this water. No, it's a Chinook. Chinook Jack! Woo! Oh, it's a Chinook Jack. You know what? We'll take that one too. I didn't even think that. Alright, there we go, guys. A little wild Chinook. No go. Sitting on the beach. <laughs> Gotta let this guy go. It's not open right now, but what a beautiful fish. Fish, 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 that's a fish. It's under, it's under, it's under, it's under, it's under. Yes, good Go job. On. Oh, it's a fuck! You're ready to get flying out of the water. Sorry, dude. You're fine. <laughs> oh, it's a nice feeling. Mike's got a fish on. What do you think, boy? Heck yeah. Tell the people what's going on here. I haven't been plunking in a while. Thank you for no. oh, oh, my. I literally just screwed you. <laughs> Man. I'm blaming that on me. I got the camera in his face and he got nervous. Real, 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 real. It's on there, right? It's on there, yeah. Keep it up. Keep the tip up. Keep the tip up. Real, real, real. Go, go, go. Oh, this is a good Sturgeon. 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 No, we can't keep it. Hey, well, it's still a damn cool fish. Scoots on these little guys are so sharp. Pretty awesome. Oh, Nick, come on, man. Dude, we were yeah, gonna keep, we were gonna cook it. that thing, man. We need some camp meat. <laughs> camp meat. Don't want to ruin my gloves. What an awesome fish, though. That was nice. Good job, yeah, buddy. All right, dude. What's up? Why haven't we caught killed a fish yet? Well, we don't have my buddy. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. I was gonna say, be careful because. There was an episode where that didn't work out so well either. Oh, it never happens to any of us. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It never happens to any we're of us. We're professionals, man. We never get shots. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're still out here just running them. We've gotten a couple bites. Actually, we you know we got a Chinook Jack, got a Sturgeon, had a couple other little like dry buys. Josh is down river and he is now three for five. So they're coming. They're coming. They're coming towards us. We don't have exactly the best tide yet, so we think what's gonna happen, hopefully, is that the tide's gonna slow down a little bit as incoming pushes in, and uh, it's gonna get turned into a bloodbath. That's at least what we hope. Stay tuned. Okay, addicts, we're attempting to build a fire. There is, There was a time in my life when I was a Eagle Scout. I think we need to start but those smaller. Days, those days are long gone. No, dude, it's gonna burn, trust me. You see that? Those are wet, dude. You know, they'll burn. I didn't do well. What is that? <laughs> That's dry. Oh. <laughs> That's dry. It's green. The true test is going to be as if that pine cone can even burn. I know. Oh, yeah, that sap is on fire. Look at that. It is burning. Can you move this kayak? She's ripping, boys. Go, go, it's on there, it's on, it's on, it's on. You got it, you got it, you got it. They fight though. Yeah. It's a Chinook. It's a nice one. 
Guys, we'll have to release this fish, but still just a beautiful specimen. Hey, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Good job, Mikey. What a beaut. All right, guys, so this is a hatchery Chinook. Even though it is a hatchery fish, it is close to Chinook retention right now. Just gonna keep his head down, get a quick picture real fast. Go ahead, get a bit of him. All right. I'm just gonna take a second, make sure he's good to go. Since the, the river's closed right now to Chinook retention, even though this is a hatchery fish, with the adipose fin missing, we still can't retain that fish. I think he's ready to go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Good job, Mikey. Heck yeah, man. Woo! That was a good fight. Nick, 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 Nick,
if not the best fish that we have in this river. Oh, they're amazing. They're really, really tasty to eat, but it's typical. This is what always happens when you're plunking. The second you go to do something else, like cook your lunch or stop paying attention, <laughs> that's when you get a fish. I was over there getting ready to cook a little cup of noodle, jet boil. Game on. Cam saw the bite and we got it. Awesome fish. This spin glow right here, guys, if you're looking for a good sockeye spin glow, I have found that this guy does really good. It's like blue watermelon, or some people call it strawberry. It's a really good looking one. Works really good. You can see I got it on all three of my, all three of my spin glows are that color. All right, guys, so we got our little sockeye here, and it's what we're gonna do is bleed this bad boy. Now, it's really important with these that you take care of them, get them bled, just, you know, take care of them, get them knocked out, and then uh, we'll do a little bleeding. And I do it a little bit different, because what I do is take my little Gerber here, and I go right in behind where this V is, and I just insert the knife here, and then I just trace the gills, yeah, like this, bunch, all the way up into the back there, and all it does is sever the main artery there, and then it's what I do is I put them down in the water, and you can just see the blood, I mean, it really bleeds them out nicely. Is what that's gonna do is just gonna make your fish taste that much better, have you know less blood in the meat, and make it that much better for the table fare. So I just leave them down here in the water, kind of massage their back a little bit, really move them back and forth, put them head downstream, and just kind of massage that back. Look how fresh that fish is. Scales just falling off of it. Are you kidding? Hey, we said at the beginning of the day this is gonna be multi-species. It's multi-species multi now. Oh man! Oh my god! Oh, this thing is insane. What? Are we netting this? Yeah, get that yeah, dude. Up.